assalamu alaikum welcome back my friends in this my new tutorial video in this video we are going to discuss how we add modules in mns tia portal so first of all i am going to open my tia portal and you can see there are two tlcs one is cpu 1200 for dc 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 and second is plsu cpu 300 and which is 3152 db two hmis of 10 inches ktp 1000 one is pn and second is db means one is profinet and second is is uh, profibus db or mpi so i have first of all i have i am going to select uh, my cpu as 71200 and you can see how we add modules in it so first of all i am going to select communication board so there is rs485 cpus dio and second communication module so i am just selecting this module and double click it you can see my profibus is added to s71200 now i am going to enter my digital input output so I am going to select our 16 digital input output module and second analog input output so I am going to select analog input output module from there. If you have a PLC uh, in front of you and you have a module check modules uh, uh, module number which is written uh, in on the module and select it from there you can see here is a module number where you can add everything. Uh, which is uh, by a module number which is uh, given by there in your PLC so I am going to open my second can see 3 PNDP now I am again select communication module now I am going to select CPU Profinet so you can see our my Profinet is also added to a, my S7 300 now I am going to in select digital input output so I am there 0.5 ampere digital input output and secondly analog input output so I select an analog input output module you also select the power supply from there with the 5 ampere power supply so you can see the power supply has been added you also added the power supply in this in because uh, maybe it have a built in power supply so we don't need to enter a power supply in here so how we get to a connection so first of all i am just uh, open my cps center and double click on my ethernet port of s7100 you can see going to ethernet address and you can see the ip of my plc 192.168.0.1 I am going to select a 2 and add submit so you can see that's how we add it to a PLC. Uh, we add it to a PLC. Uh, uh, issue of uh, uh, submit a PLC uh, and address to a PLC. I am going to assign 300 device connection. We also submit to that a PLC connection, but I am telling you from indirect you can select it from there s7 1200 now i am not selecting there i am just select profibus so i am just giving it the profibus address so select the profibus and add a profibus you can see profibus address has been added so our view now i am just telling you how you give address so that's how you give address to your hmi from there you can see it have also have an IP. I'm selecting that, and uh, now HMI2. You can see a DP port which is also available in there at MPI DP. So you can select it directly from there. So that's how you can change it to Profibus, and you can add from there to there. Now I'm just uh, telling you how you directly connect your agri PLC from one another just to go to device and network and you can see our PLC connection so I am just drag and drop to there 
drag and drop to there drag and drop to there and again I drag and drop to there so you can see our all PLCs have been connected so if you want to connect only your CPU so I am just deleting it you can see my CPU is deleted my DP port is deleted so I am just deleted from there you can see select and delete now you can see my CPU is 7200 and my HMI KTP 1000 it got 10 inches basic PN Profinet uh, supported HMI has been connected to each other that's how your PLC and HMI connected to each other thank you very much for watch these videos in the video descriptions I am giving uh, the reference and uh, the links of the other tutorials is Carda included so you can and directly open from there thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channels like my I videos click the bell icons and thank you so much next comment for learning purpose thank you so much